My name's Rob Adams. Uh, I'm the Director of City Design at the City of Melbourne and uh, my responsibilities really are in the design and procurement of many of the City's projects. I think the City's approach to sustainability is multifaceted, but really if you wanted to put a one-liner, it's getting more out of less. And, and so we have projects where we capture the water that falls on the city, we've recycled buildings uh, for residential in the city, we have incentives for people to recycle their commercial buildings. So we're looking at the every opportunity we can get to improve the efficiency of the city in a sustainable way. And important to that is density. And how do you get density into some of the more established suburbs and what are the, the opportunities? Quite often I think small opportunities that enable us to in fact get density but get sustainability with it. I think the 5x4 is a fantastic example of how small can produce um, really spectacular results, both in terms of increasing the density but also sustainability. And I think we've got captured by the big and I think we've got, we need to relearn the lessons of small. And for me the secret of an, a vibrant exciting city will be that we get more small projects not that we just carry on repeating the big ones. And they have, the big ones have a blandness about them. Um, I think it's the, the small projects that give grit and grain and interest to the city. And I think 5x4 does that. I think a successful outcome for 5x4 will be A, that the community in the area uh, accept it, and the fact that it's got through quite a rigorous planning uh, process uh, is indicative of that already. That the, the building produces the results that can be seen and monitored and that people start to learn that sustainability doesn't mean giving up something. Uh, sustainability just means doing something a lot smarter. So there are features of this house where most, peop most people will look at it and it'll look like any good modern house built in a tight urban setting. But when they start to understand the complexities of the environmental savings and, and what ha what's happening in the building, I think the penny will drop, that you can have good lifestyles without compromising uh, sustainability.